guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so tonight i'm going to be showing you guys my second perfume haul of 2021 now if you guys have not yet seen my first haul i'm going to pop a card to the top feel free to check that video out to see what finds i have discovered in 2020 and have finally added to my collection now before we go on to this video i'm going to ask you guys to please do click that subscribe button please do give me a thumbs up if you are love my content thus far and you guys like myself am a perfume lover don't forget to click the notification bell so that way you guys will be notified every time i discover some new interesting fragrances and i have a new haul that i'm going to be sharing with you guys so yeah please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section let me know what else or what other fragrances you guys have also discovered in 2020 and you guys felt were a absolute must-have so yeah let's just dive in to the video so the first perfume haul that i had for two well not the first well the first one of this haul for 2021 is the victor and rolf bon bon now look at this bottle now strangely enough you guys this perfume had never ever attracted me before and i find it quite strange because i'm usually a sucker for beautiful bottles but i don't know it's the big bowl that i never really wanted to go for the big pink uh, purpley pink violet looking bowl i was just never really into it I don't know but i recently saw um a youtuber i can't remember her name she was reviewing this fragrance and she said um you know some people consider this perfume to be quite juvenile but in actuality it's not and she said it's a quite interesting smell very sweet smelling fragrance and it had some notes of caramel and i can't remember what else she said was in this fragrance but i was like you know what why not try it out so before we go into i'm just going to tell you guys a little bit of the notes in this perfume so in this fragrance the top notes are mandarin orange black currant the heart notes are peach jasmine orange blossom and the base notes cedarwood gayak wood and caramel and i was like you know what that sounds really interesting so i was like let me just dive into it now let me just have a spray now this is indeed a very beautiful fragrance it does not smell juvenile you can get the black currant and the mandarin and that's most of what i'm smelling in this fragrance it does smell very fruity sweet um i'm getting a slight hint of the caramel to it but i'm more getting the mandarin and the black currant in it but overall this is a really beautiful smelling fragrance it's really sweet now it's not necessarily generic so to speak but it's not one of those um how should i describe it like um an outstandingly sweet fragrance which has a unique dna or whatever the case is but by all means it is a beautiful fragrance now as a dry down i am getting the caramel so you do get that bit in here overall this is a really beautiful fragrance. this is a pretty smelling fragrance so i'm really happy to have this in my collection now this fragrance is quite casual i would consider this to be a everyday type of fragrance it can be a signature type of fragrance um yeah it is a really nice scent so i'm really glad to finally add it to my collection to finally discover victor and roth so that's victor and roth bon bon the next fragrance i also discovered was flower bomb now i know what you guys are thinking you're probably thinking well my god you're late to the party and you're absolutely right i'm absolutely late to the party because the flower bomb has always been a fragrance that has been talked about and i never really dived into it i don't know i just felt that the entire victor and ralph brand was a bit um a little bit too playful for my liking and i'm not really into playful fragrances but i'm, I'm kind of like you know changing it up a little bit i'm making a little bit of a shift so yeah i wanted to try out this fragrance seeing as though i heard so many things about it one of the things that made me want to grab this fragrance is that people said that this fragrance smells similar to la vie a bell and it's just as long lasting but it's it's more or less along the same lines so i was intrigued because i absolutely love la vie a bell let's just have a look now this fragrance smells really pretty now there is an interesting note in it it smells like uh it smells like tuberose in um, somewhere lingering in the fragrance. It is a very, a soft, beautiful, um, sweet smelling fragrance. And I say soft because the sweetness in it is very mellow. You can't really, there's nothing really 
standing out that I'm, it's not really jumping out at you in intensity when i smell this because this was actually a blind boy but when it arrived and i sniffed it i was absolutely in love absolute in love because this fragrance would be to me the most ideal signature smelling fragrance in my opinion it smells like a sweet smelling baby powder to an extent but let me just tell you guys briefly what the notes are in this fragrance um, and obviously i'm reading from my phone i'm just briefly going into the notes for you guys just so you know just to have an idea what i'm exactly what i'm picking up okay so again the top notes in this fragrance is tea burger martin freesia sandbag jasmine catalia orchid centifilia rose amber cashmere and patchouli and floral scent so overall you're just getting a really um baby powder sweet smelling type of fragrance so yeah i absolutely love the victor and ralph floor balm so i'm glad to finally add it to my collection so yeah that's the victor and ralph flower balm the next fragrance that i add to my collection was is the lanta deep by Givenchy. now this took took me a long time as well to grab this fragrance because i don't know i'm just not impressed with Givenchy's fragrances i don't know why i'm not really much impressed with it especially dahlia and irresistible and very ir irresistible those ranges never ever grabbed me so i was never into that um to this particular brand but when i ordered the victor and ralph they sent me a sample of the laundry that's it so this is probably the only non-blind buy in this purchase right here and i was absolutely in love it has the most interesting smell now whew, what really grabbed me in it is the dry down the initial boss of it is not it is not a sweety fruit it's not a florally fruity smelling type of fragrance i think this is a more of a floriental type of fragrance but the dry down is really nice it smells really woody so this fragrance has notes of orange blossom jasmine tuberose vetiver and patchouli as the dark notes right so this is described as a woody earthy scent and i think that's what really grabbed me the woodiness and earthiness to this fragrance is really what really, you know, um, carries off this fragrance. Um, you don't smell much. You do get the jazz, right? So you do get the jasmine and the tuberose. You definitely get the intense boss of the jasmine and the tuberose. That's what you get. And it's a very interesting mix. So the tuberose mixing with the woody smell in this perfume is very interesting in my opinion. It is quite different from anything else that I have in my collection. But I just found the fragrance very interesting. And above all, the dry down. I find this fragrance to be very grounding. Um, I find it to be a little bit comforting. I don't know why, but I really love the dry down and the feeling that this perfume gives. So yeah, that's the um, Lanta Deep by Givenchy. And I'm actually crushing on the Intense. I'm definitely going to get that one because I would really love to smell that. Because this one, at first sniff, I was absolutely in love with the sample that I got. So yeah, this is Lanta Deep by Givenchy. Now the next fragrance that I absolutely had to have was the Elisab Girl of No. Now like I said to you guys, this is actually my second haul of 2021. Now if you guys um watch my first video of my first half of 2021 i actually bought the girl of now ellie Saab, well the girl of now forever um i just gravitated towards that one because the juice in it was a lot more prettier and online i just i don't know the mood i was in because of lately i've been in somewhat of a mood i don't know why but the mood i was in this was not attracting me and i actually grabbed this one and when i got this one i was extremely extremely impressed and i was like you know what i have to get the original but this actually smells very much different from the other one the other one smells like a pop like a passion fruit soda if that makes any sense to you but this one whew, smells different and i'm gonna have to say i like girl of now forever better now this is a nice fragrance but i'm much more impressed with the other fragrance so let's just have a look to see what notes is in um this one so this fragrance actually has in roasted pistachio and sparkling pear and it has the essence of bitter almond and orange blossom and then it dries down with tonka bean and almond milk 
it also has patchouli in it so you do get the patchouli which is what, something that i love if you guys haven't noticed all my fragrances having patchouli in them my most favorite fragrances definitely patchouli fragrances so i just like fragrances with depth and a bit more grounding so yeah now okay so as this fragrance dry down you're definitely getting the pia in it i'm not getting um, the orange blossom in it very strong but I'm definitely getting the pear in it. You are getting the vanilla and the tonka beans. You're definitely getting that. So I'm getting the pear, the vanilla, and the tonka bean. And there's also almond notes in it. I'm actually getting the almond notes in it. It's really creamy and nice. The almond notes mixing with the vanilla is a really nice, creamy smell to this perfume. Yeah. You're that. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. This is actually a really pretty smelling fragrance. So, oh, oh my God. This is really beautiful. Okay. Okay. Well, Girl of No Elisab is a really pretty smelling fragrance. The dry down on this perfume, the pistachio mixing with the almond and the tonka bean in this perfume. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is a really nice, sweet smelling, creamy pistachio and almond and tonka bean smelling fragrance now the it's the mid the mid notes in this fragrance is what gets you so the fragrance opens up with um orange blossom and pear you don't really get the orange blossom but you do that get the pear but in the mid the heart of this fragrance has a beautiful creamy blend of pistachio and the almond the pistachio reacting with the almonds and the um the tonka bean it is absolutely beauty i mean i really like the direction that elisa went with the girl of now line of fragrances like i said to you the girl of now forever it smells like a pop it literally smells like a soda and this one literally smells like an ice cream creamy and sweet smelling smooth blended ice cream so yeah that's the goal of now by elisa absolutely beautiful but it's the dry down that really really you know grabs you the most now my next discovery omg you guys angel muse this is the edt the ear to toilet oh my god listen okay <laughs> you guys need this fragrance okay you need this perfume in your life like when i smelt this now i actually got the the edp and the edt now i'm, I'm gonna get into this one right here but just wait a right a minute. This fragrance, when I first smelt it, when it came through the door, I thought this was the best smelling fragrance in the world. I know, I know that sounds really crazy, but this perfume is so beautiful. Let me just tell you guys the notes in this perfume, right? This fragrance has top notes of passion fruit, mandarin, in the heart notes, it has hazelnut, cream, cocoa. And the base, Akigala wood and vetiver. It just smells like chocolates. Okay, obviously in this one you get more of the fruitiness mixed with the chalk with the cocoa. So you don't really get the intensity of the chocolate chocolateiness, but it's dear. Let me tell you, this is a beautiful smelling fragrance. Now in this one you get more of the fruitiness compared to the EDP, and I'm gonna get into that one. But this perfume smells so good i literally feel like just like laddering myself with how much i love this perfume even though it's an edt it does have some lasting power to it so i find the edt in these angel mugla quite impressive so yeah this is the angel muse um in the edt which is absolutely stunning now oh my days ha! this is the highlight this is one of the best discoveries, fragrance discoveries of 2020 for me. Again, while the other one has in the passion fruit, this just smells like chocolates. Now, let me just tell you what this one has compared to the other one. So this one has in grapefruit and pink berries and everything else, the hazelnut cream, cocoa, and the vetiver. Now, in the introduction, you do get the grapefruit. You get a very fresh um like a very fresh alluring smell like, and then it goes into that chocolatey intensity like like i kid you not like when i smell it i feel like this is the best smelling fragrance ever i mean let me just spray this right here killing me now this is an absolutely 
beautiful stunning sexy fragrance so this is an intense fragrance it is very grounding again it has in the vetiver in it so it dries down very like um not really earthy so to speak so it does have um some strength to it and it smells really strong and if you spray this dose yourself in it you probably could choke a little bit but the dry down i promise you once you survive the hazelnut cocoa in this fragrance will keep you alive <laughs> right <laughs> so once you survive after dosing yourself with this fragrance the hazelnut the chocolate the chocolatey vibe to this perfume it is absolutely everything i'm telling you this perfume is beautiful and if you guys are chocolate lover like myself because i love i absolutely love i love i love chocolates if you guys are a chocolate lover you need this you definitely need this fragrance last but not least i got my hands on the poison the name isn't showing poison gold by dior which i'm sure everybody knows by the shape of this bottle now i'm late to the party i'm just late all how but i'm glad to finally have made it to the party now funny enough i feel like i've smelled this fragrance a very very long time ago but it didn't impress me i could swear maybe i didn't smell this one maybe it was a different one i'm not quite sure but i was never really drawn to my, the poison girl range in dior and i'm a dior girl because i love dior fragrances they are absolutely everything but this range in particular never really grabbed me but i've been hearing a lot about it people have been raving about this poison girl the hypnotic poison girl and the pure poison people have been absolutely raving about this fragrance and i was like you know what let me just see what the hype is all about it smells like a beautiful smooth creamy vanilla -y licorice or should i say a liqueur my bad a vanilla liqueur that's what it is this literally smells like a spicy vanilla liqueur literally this is what this fragrance smells like and it is absolutely stunning you guys it is so smooth and so sweet smelling and so sexy. This fragrance is very much a sexy smelling fragrance. So yeah, there you have it, you guys. This is the last of my second perfume haul. Now, I am absolutely loving everyone, loving every one of these fragrances. Now, I am absolutely enjoying this whole blind buy. And I'm thinking it's because thus far, all of my hauls and my finds have been really, you know, a hit and not a miss. And out, out of all of these finds, I would absolutely recommend that you guys get your hands on this Angel Muse fragrance right here. Oh my God, it is stunning, stunning, stunning. I would say actually layering these two fragrances together, you guys, I don't think how you, I don't know how you can go wrong. Like a vanilla liqueur with chocolate, these fragrances together really sexy really central very beautiful and it has a lot of depth so there you have this is my second haul of 2021 if you guys love this video by all means please do give me a thumbs up please do hit that like button subscribe to my youtube channel by all means drop a comment in the comment section click the notification bell so that way you guys will be notified as soon as i upload and once again see you in my next video Bye, guys. <laughs>